Hello and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be doing a GUI animation tutorial. Basically what I'm going to cover is, so instead when you click a shot button or a settings button, instead of a frame just randomly appearing on your screen, it will come down into your screen like that. I'm not going to waste any time, I'm just going to get straight into it. So, obviously first thing you need to do is have a GUI. I'll really quickly go over how to make a basic GUI. So go over to start the GUI, click the plus button, click screen GUI, and under screen GUI, you want to add a frame. This will bring up a little box like this. You can resize it like that. This is just going to be very basic. We'll center it there. And then you can also add text labels, text buttons, text boxes, um, image buttons, image labels, whatever into your frame. But this isn't a GUI making tutorial, so I'm going to put that away. I've already got my shot button here, which I'm going to be using for this video. So to get started with the actual scripting, we're going to find your shot button. So mine's here. I'm going to press on the plus button and insert a local script. Make sure it's not a script like this, because if you click the button, then the GUI will appear for everyone. Local script just executes the script on the client side. So then you're going to want to rename your script. So I'll just call it open script. So you're going to delete the print hello world and then we're going to first identify the locals. So identifying locals, you always do at the start of a script. It's basically just giving a nickname to a property in your workspace. So when I want to tell a script what bit in my workspace I want to use, instead of having to Specify by saying game dot start gui dot shop gui dot main shop frame. You can just type out whatever nickname you give. I'll just quickly show you that now. So local okay, not that we'll do local button. I'll go local open button is equal to script dot parent. No, not archivable. Script dot parent. So as you can see, the script is here. It's parent is the shop button, which is the one I want. And we're also going to identify our main shop frame. So we're going to do local main frame is equal, is equal can't type today. Is equal to script dot parent dot oh, my computer's having a rough time. Script dot parent dot I'm gonna cry in a minute. Script dot parent dot parent dot main shop frame. There we go. Gonna go down two lines. Now we can just type open button dot mouse button one click colon connect function it's going to go inside the brackets you also want to add another open bracket here and then you're going to go to the end go down the line this is basically just saying when you click on the button then whatever you put underneath this is going to happen so you need to do mainframe colon tween position and delete this open bracket go down the line this is just the start of the animation. Then udem 2 dot new, and then you want to paste the coordinates of the end location. So what I mean by that is, I want my frame to end up, I'll just bring it down, to end up here at the end of my script, let's say. I'll just bring that down, center it. So I'm going to copy the X and Y coordinates into there. So first X, comma, and then the Y coordinates, and then close bracket and then outside the close bracket put a comma and then go down the line in speech marks you want to put out you can either put out or in for this you want to use in when you are closing a GUI so if you click the close button then it goes up down left right wherever you want it to go then you can want to use in but seeing as we're opening a GUI we're going to do out then leave a comma another line then we're going to use court then a comma Quart is just one of the animation styles. There's multiple animation styles you can use. I will leave a video really quick up now of all the different animation types. Once you've decided which one you want and typed it out, go down another line. Now I need to say how long the animation is going to go on for. I just want to make it go on for one second, so I'm going to put one, then a comma, and go down, and now we need to say whether we want the animation to override any other animations. So let's say we've clicked the close button and our frame starts going upwards to come out of the 
wave the screen. If we click the shot button again, if it says it's true, then it will cancel the close animation and start the open animation. However, if it's set to false, then you're going to have to wait for the animation already playing to finish and then click the shot button. So I'm going to leave it as false. And then you don't need to put a camera after this because it's at the end. So now if we test this, hopefully it will work. Let's just move our frame back up here. Okay, hopefully you have a better time loading in than I did. So obviously I just rushed that up to the top of my screen. Normally you'd input the coordinates, so like the y-axis would be a 0.9, minus 0.9, sorry. But I'm just going to go ahead and test this. Yep, there you go. It comes right down, so that's successful. I'm going to stop it. Now, as you can see, when I brought down the GUI, it had a close button, which is here. So I'm going to add a local script to that, call it close script. Not close script, zipper. Close script. Delete the print hello world. We're going to actually copy this, paste it, but we need to change a few things. We need to change the location of the mainframe. So this, this will be um, script.parent.parent.parent.mainframe. Main shop frame, sorry. And then we want to change the local open button to local close button. And down here as well. And we need to change the out to in. I usually have my um, close animations last a little bit shorter, so I'll put it as 0.5. And we want to paste the new coordinates, so I'm just going to do that now. Just going to move this up fully. Minus 0.9. There we go. Now we'll just copy the X and Y. So, comma, and then paste that. That looks good, so we're going to test it out again. So we're going to click shop, there we go. Now we can close it as well, that works. I would recommend copy and pasting purely for the fact that it reduces your chance of error. But that is all we have for this tutorial. If you have any questions, you can either leave it in the YouTube comments below, or you can come check out my Discord, that link will be in the description. I have support tickets available on my Discord, so if you're having issues with the script, then you can open a support ticket and I'll happily help you. If this video helps you out at all, make sure you leave a like. Also, if you're new, subscribe to my channel so you can see more content. And make sure you turn on post notifications so that way you know whenever I upload a new video. Now, don't just do Roblox Studio tutorials. I do games as well. Could start uploading more of them. But because I have terrible luck, I have the worst recording issues known to man. Also going to be making a tutorial on how to improve your GUI so they look more like this. As soon as it's released, I'll also add a link to that in the description and a pop-up in the top right of your screen now. That is all I have for you fine people today, and I will see you all next time. Goodbye.